Today we're presenting the Portal Hub Bayview Alternative Energy Business Plan. I'm Abu Bakr, this is Mike Kyle, this one's Mike. Yeah, the northern Punjab region, specifically the Portal Hub Plateau. And uh, in, in this region, we just wanted to, to say what kind of uh, natural resources there were in order to try to create a, a business around technology that utilizes the resources available in this region. So in, in this region of Pakistan, there are five major rivers that, that run through it and an extensive irrigation system. So there's a lot of uh, water available. There's also a lot of sunshine throughout the year. Usually they get at least 11 hours of sunshine a day, which is, which is you know, very, very good. And also there's, there's a lot of open land, a lot of uh, agricultural and sustenance farming. So there's a lot of uh, open land that can also be utilized. I just want to introduce you to uh, a guy named Akbar Ahmed, and he's uh, 30, 32 years old. He has just come back from his um, tour of military service, and he is trained as a carpenter, but due to the lack of electricity available to him, he is unable to utilize his skills and tasks, and is uh, unable to actually, you know, have a business or, you know, make a substantial amount of money because he doesn't have any access to electricity. So I guess what we're trying to do is trying to create a, a device that would enable him to have electricity to use in his house or in his business, even though he's not connected to electricity grid and even though there's a shortage of electricity within you know, Pakistan. And so what happens here is uh, there's a, a, w a windshield um, shade for a car and a PVC pipe right in the center and uh, it just it takes the sunlight and focuses it into this PVC pipe, which will then boil boil the water and create steam pressure. The steam pressure will uh, will be transferred into the steam engine. Steam engine spins and uh, creates rotational kinetic energy, and then it goes into an alternator, and and then uh, we'll power a, a device or it can be connected to a car battery or just any, anything that they need in, in order to, uh, or anything they need for power. Now we have several tactics in order to market our device, um, including um, urban advertising for those people that live and work in the cities that um, would be interested in using our product. In addition, we also plan on using area consultants who are natives of the respective areas. Um, and in order to develop, to develop that trust between uh, our consumers and our business um, and those that work for us, we plan on um, uh, really trying to get the consultant um, engaged and excited about the use of our product and they will receive commission for each unit of our product sold. Um, in addition, we plan on using demonstration sites with, um, and setting up working systems in different strategic locations throughout our area of Pakistan, and then um, hopefully by allowing those residents to um, demo those sites and our product, that it might incent them to invest in our product to start their own businesses. In terms of the cost and revenue for the first six months, we, we are planning to sell 500 of our units. We plan this figure on the uh, census data that we received that there are over 700 million families in Pakistan without electricity. So for the first six months, we we're going to have the startup cost, which is going to which is going to increase our total cost. And each team member is investing $15,000 of their own money into the business. So startup costs, as Micah talked about, will add up to about $14,500. A recurring cost at $3,000 a month is going to add up to $18,000. Our shipping cost for the 20-foot container is going to be $1,500. And the total total production at $150 a piece is going to be $80,000. So we're looking at a lump sum of $114,000 as our cost, minus our initial team investment, we're going to be looking for a loan of $54,000.